Were you at the Autonomous Vehicles 2019 meeting in Silicon Valley last week? If not, stick around. I'm going to do my best to ramp you up. Hey everybody, it's Paul Harris with Blackhawk Recruiters here in sunny California. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. As you may know, I run an executive search firm. We specialize in the telecom infrastructure space and kind of everything that spins in that orbit and something that's spinning in that orbit that is incredibly exciting, incredibly cool in our world and a whole bunch of other, other worlds is the autonomous vehicle. And last week, there was something called AV19. So the autonomous vehicles 2019 meeting, it was uh, right here in Silicon Valley, February 25th through 27th. Um, it was at the Hyatt Regency right here in Santa Clara and the, and the uh, you know the, the theme of it was called a mobility driven future so what was it it was basically 200 people all about self-driving cars right autonomous vehicles and all the different partnerships you know between my world right the mobility world with the OEMs right the car manufacturers the suppliers you know these guys that do mapping software and sensors and and you know R&D firms and etc so they were all there and this was not only, um, you know, all the car manufacturers were there, but then you got the incredibly smart people from the, you know, the computer world, right? You know, Dell, EMC, IBM, et cetera. You know, Baidu there was from China, and then shocker, Uber and Lyft were there. What a surprise, right? So this is not only about cars, right? This is about cars, trucks, buses, um, public safety vehicles, um, military, right? Can you imagine a self-driving tank, right? I mean, it's coming, you guys. So let me give you some of the themes from the event. So number one theme is the hype is over regarding autonomous vehicles. It's time to start on working on the impediments to move things forward to the next level. The next level, of course, being production of the vehicles and then deployment of those vehicles. So kind of taking care of some of those technical barriers. That was number one. Number two was overcoming some of the bad news that is hit, right? You know, it is what it is, right? People get hit. Uh, you know, somebody get, you know, gets hit by a car, they, they die. Um, so there's a lot of uh, confidence that need to be regained with the consumers, uh, with the you know government, state, federal agencies, and I think some of the statistics would prove overwhelmingly that it's a very positive outlook, and the long term looks great for you know kind of for the uh, the uh, autonomous vehicle world, right? It's just you know computers are safer than uh, than, than than human beings, right? The, the last one I would talk about is our world, right, and how wireless infrastructure. Um, marries with this world, right? So 5G, why is 5G so important to, to this world? Number one is the throughput, right? So the, the number, amount of information is going through the pipe. It has got to be huge. And the num number of, the amount of uh, information that's, be, that's coming through the pipe from an autonomous vehicle is absolutely astronomical and it doesn't work without 5G. So that's number one, the, through, the throughput, number one. And number two is the speed, right? How fast things come, come through the pipe. And then the big one, you guys, is something called latency, right? So latency is a time from when the car says, oh my God, the car in front of me has just stopped. I need to put on the brakes till that, that information is received. And the latency with 5G is so, so low. In other words, so fast that it's, 5G is, a, is enabling this autonomous vehicle world. Very, very exciting, you guys. So let's talk about the checklist, kind of what they what they talked about. Number one was moving from the testing phase to, to the deployment phase, right? Forget the testing, the testing's done, let's just start deploying this stuff, the hardware, the software, the mapping, the sensors, etc. So that's number one. Number two is utilizing AI, right? So our artificial artificial intelligence and machine learning to kind of help develop the you know the algorithm algorithms to make these cars make these decisions faster which obviously means safer right and number three is using big data machine learning etc to turn a truckload of data into something useful right and the components from that of that are the connectivity the storage and the transfer of that of that data right very very important so you guys it was a great meeting a lot of very interactive uh, sessions um, they had, of course, they had the exhibit hall, right, with all the, you know, you know, uh, 
um, exhibitors, etc. Um, speakers, workshops, two-hour workshops where they did learning sessions. They had this thing called the Edge New Innovators, right? So you've seen these at these different trade shows, right? They have a contest and the people come out and they talk really quickly about their business and then they vote on which one is, is best, right? Very, very cool. Let me give you some interesting things just for me. So number one was becoming certified, right? What are the tests? What are the validations? What are the data that you use? What are the KPIs to develop the standards in this new frontier, right? It's a new frontier, it's a wild west, you know, trying to guess what those standards are. It's just very, very exciting. Number, the next one is kind of usable, using artificial intelligence and machine learning to help these vehicles make decisions when two systems are giving it a dis different answer, right? One system says, hey, turn left. The other system says, oh my gosh, you gotta stop, you're gonna crash, right? So they use these things to, to help out. And then of course, the acronyms, right? Ac so many acronyms in the world, right? And there's a lot of V to something, right? Vehicle to something, vehicle to V, v a V to V, vehicle to another vehicle, right? Hey, your car's getting closer to my car, you better get away. Uh, v to I, v vehicle to infrastructure. So this is a vehicle to uh, the stoplights, to a building, etc. cetera. Uh, v to uh, D, right? Vehicle device, V to P, vehicle to pedestrian, right? Someone's in the crosswalk, you know, don't hit them, et cetera and then V to C, vehicle to cloud, and then the last one, of course, the catch-all, V to X, right? Vehicle to everything. everything. So you guys, really, really exciting stuff in, in, in the autonomous vehicle world, in the wireless telecom infrastructure world. None of this autonomous vehicle stuff works without the wireless infrastructure of the world that we, we came from. So you guys, it was a great meeting. Wanted to kind of get that to you, uh, make you feel like you were there. There's plenty of stuff coming up in the autonomous vehicle world, the um, you know s smart cities world, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And hopefully, we'll just put this right down at the bottom. So uh, the different shows that are coming up in, in those different worlds and the wireless infrastructure world, we'll put those there as well. So you guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you were able to. Uh, if you weren't there, I hope you you felt like you were there. And um, um, the next time we go, I'll go to a trade show, I will report and we'll, we'll do a video on it as well. You guys, thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.